shirt reduced by $50,000, increased by $50,000. Pursuant to House Resolution 223, the gentlewoman from Arizona and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Arizona. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The cinema amendment is a common sense fix that helps improve the transparency of the VA and the quality of services provided to veterans. I appreciate the chairman and ranking member Bishop for all of the work that they're doing to pass this bill and for being so kind about this amendment. The underlying bill requires quarterly reports on the financial status of the Veterans Health Administration. My amendment requires the VA to include as part of these quarterly payments any outstanding payments owed to contracted entities older than 60 days and a justification for the delay in payments. Over the last year, we've seen that the VA is unable to provide the timely high quality care our veterans deserve on their own. By leveraging community providers and creating a seamless relationship between internal VA care providers and external non-VA care providers, we can ensure that veterans receive the timely access to high quality care they deserve. That's what the Choice Act is trying to create, and that's what the Secretary hopes to build through the My VA initiative. Unfortunately, the VA continues to struggle with paying its bills in a timely way. In my district, I've heard from large hospitals, small businesses alike, who don't receive prompt payments from the VA. A small business in my district, Interim Healthcare, provides home care, skilled medical care, and staffing services for the VA. Despite efforts by the Phoenix VA Hospital, the larger VA system has failed to pay care and others in a timely way. This threatens small businesses and the care that they provide to Arizona veterans. And ultimately, this undermines the seamless care we are attempting to provide to veterans. Understanding why the VA struggles to provide timely payments to contracted service providers will help the VA address this issue and improve the quality of services for our veterans. Additionally, we have learned that in 2014, over 55% of all veterans calling a national hotline for care never got through to a representative. Thus far in 2015, that number has risen to 59%. This amendment would also allow the VA to provide a report on how many individuals who reach the call center are dropped and how many get the care they receive. The Cinema Amendment, Mr. Chair and others, will improve oversight and accountability at the VA and to step towards restoring the trust that we so dearly owe to our veterans. I thank the Chairman and Ranking Member for their support and for their dedication to our nation's veterans. Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlewoman from Arizona yields back the balance of her time. Does any member rise in opposition? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I seek unanimous consent to rise in opposition to the amendment, but we're not, I'm not opposed to the amendment.